Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to look into pipelines and concurrency. Within this, we're going to learn about Microsoft hosted CI CD, self hosted CI CD, parallel jobs, etc. My name is Sushant Sutish, and I'm your trainer for this AZ400 Azure DevOps Engineer Certification course. So, without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So let's look into Microsoft hosted versus self hosted. One parallel job in Azure Pipeline will let you run a single build or release job at any given time. This rule is true whether you run a job on Microsoft hosted or self hosted agents. So, first, let's understand Microsoft hosted CI CD. If you want to run your build and releases on machines that Microsoft manages, use Microsoft hosted parallel jobs. Your jobs run on the pool of hosted jobs and Microsoft provide a free tier of service by default for every organization. For public project, 10 free Microsoft hosted parallel jobs can run for up to 360 minutes, which is around 6 hours each time with no overall time limit per month. For a private project, one free parallel job that can run up to 30 minutes each time until you have used 1800 minutes which is around 30 hours per month when the free tier is no longer sufficient you can contact microsoft to get your free tier limits increased so what about self hosted ci cd if you want azure pipelines to orchestrate your build and releases but use your own machines to run them use self hosted parallel jobs you start by deploying agents on your machines and you can register any number of these self-hosted agents in your organization. Microsoft charges based on the number of jobs you want to run at a time, not the number of agents registered. And Microsoft provide a free tier of service by default in every organization. For a public project, 10 free self-hosted parallel jobs are free. For private project, one self-hosted parallel job Additionally, for every active Visual Studio plus enterprise subscriber who is a member of your organization, you get one additional self-hosted parallel job as well. When the free tier is no longer sufficient, you can contact Microsoft for free tier limits increased. There is no time limit on self-hosted jobs. Now let's look into parallel jobs. Consider an organization that has only one Microsoft hosted parallel job. This job allows users in that organization to collectively run only one build or release job at a time. When additional jobs are triggered, they are queued and will wait for the previous job to finish. A release consumes a parallel job only when it's been actively deployed to a stage. While the release is waiting for an approval or a manual intervention, it does not consume a parallel job. So how can you estimate parallel jobs? First, you need to determine how many parallel jobs you need. You can begin by seeing if the free tier offered in your organization is enough for your teams. When you have reached the 1800 minutes per month for the free tier of Microsoft hosted parallel job, you can start by buying one parallel job to remove this monthly time limit before deciding to purchase more. And what is a simple estimate? A simple rule of thumb is Estimate that you will need one parallel job for every four or five users in your organization. And you can view parallel jobs by browsing to your organization settings, pipelines, retention and parallel jobs, and parallel jobs. This is where you can view the minimum number of parallel jobs that are available in your organization. That concludes this lesson. In the next episode, we're going to learn about Azure DevOps and open source projects. So I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.